Livia, great to meet you and congratulations on the Lost Girls. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this has been described as an art house feminist drama that tells a very different Peter Pan story. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, so the the movie uh, takes off. It's adapted from a novel written by Laurie Fox. And the premise of the movie and of the novel is that uh, it's based on the last chapter of Peter Pan written by J.M. Barry. So in that, which is not well known. And in that chapter, Peter Pan, who's very forgetful, comes back to Wendy, except like, you know, many years have gone by. So she's now an older woman and she's a mother to a daughter. And so Peter is very upset that she broke her promise. And eventually he says that he will take her daughter instead of her and then her daughter, and then her daughter. And so it will go on forever. This was set up, you know, in 1911, I believe. Sounds, <laughs> sounds creepy, Livia. <laughs> it is a little creepy, but it didn't make this happen, you know? <laughs> it is a little creepy. And so from there, Laurie kind of took off and said, okay, what happened to this women? Like, what's going on here? Where like this women do meet this magical boy and he takes them away to Neverland and they fall in love with them because obviously he you know takes them to a world of wonder and uh, and, and magic and adventure and then they have to come back and grow up and, and and kind of forget about that and deal with reality so in a way Peter is you know, it's Peter Pan, he's wonderful and he takes you away. And it's that kind of childlike man that we all cannot help to find extremely endearing at times. <laughs> but then if you look at it from a different perspective and you, and, and you look at him as a partner or even like a comrade, you know, yeah. that is not like if you go for a equality <laughs> that really is out of the picture that scale is tipped off and so in that way um, it is a feminist story yeah. uh, but we don't want to uh, villainize uh, Peter Pan too much because we want to kind of um, bring attention to certain aspects of the story that are kind of um, could have reframing um, or just to be looked at yeah and uh and at the same time, we want to continue to cherish the the the, the wonder uh, of the imagination that Peter has always represented, and it will continue to represent forever. Livia, you not only wrote this, you starred in it, you directed it. Were there any days where you just went, "What am I doing"? Yes. So that happened um, actually before, like a little bit before, because the movie was set up you know, before COVID and we had, you know, great cast attached and we had finances and then, uh, and then COVID happened and it all fell apart. And at some point, you know, I, I, I'm still amazed that the movie eventually did get made. So when we were recasting the film and we were re, you know, really trying to, to, to keep it together, at some point I said, uh, okay, what about if we cast someone else in my, in, you know, in the role that I wrote for myself, that, you know, eventually I just want to get the movie made. And at that point, it was the sales agent and one of the producers that were like, mm, I think it's a little too late for that. I think <laughs> you're going to have to do it now. <laughs> I think now we're just kind of like, it, they said, look, it wouldn't make any difference and if and if anything it would just delay the process because we'll have to go to actresses and not to read and you're cast already so just let's just go with it um and during the shooting no there hasn't been a time where i thought what am i doing because uh i didn't have the time to think about it probably a good thing probably a really good thing but you were talking about the cast and you've got some incredible cast in this can we start with louis partridge Peter Pan is a very hard role to cast. I think he's a great actor. But why did you think he's the one to be our Peter Pan? Right. So it's uh, there is a story there because we addition, you know, we just Peter Peter Pan, I'm calling him Peter instead of Louis. <laughs> so Louis uh, at the time he had had done Hanola Holmes. Hanola Holmes was in post-production. Yeah. 
So we knew that he had done Enola Holmes, but he, uh, you know, we didn't know what Enola Holmes was and we didn't know what was going to happen. So he auditioned for the part um, in person. I think we did his audition maybe like two weeks before lockdown or a week before lockdown, like I, because I was delusional and I kept on thinking that we were just going to make the film and nothing was going to, that it was all going to be fine and we were going to make the film. <laughs> anyway, so we, so we did these auditions and, um, and he was just great. I mean, he's great. Like yeah. not only he has a great look and also like, you know, when he auditioned, it was like now, two years ago, more than two years ago, he was younger. And at that age, you know, they changed so fast. Yeah. So, you know, he, he wasn't, he wasn't Louis Partridge. <laughs> I mean, it was Louis Partridge, but he wasn't Louis, the, the Louis Partridge that we now know. Yeah. Um, but he just gave a really great addition. And I, um, you know, production wanted to do with the Peter Pan that looked more like Peter Pan like more like a blonde, blue-eyed kind of yeah. guy. And I just said, no, I think we should cast this guy. <laughs> Thank God. Right uh, choice. <laughs> yeah, I really, I thought, I'm like, I think this guy can fly. I believe this guy, I can see this guy fly, you know, because he was, with his face, he has like a whimsical aspect yeah. to him. I don't know, I, you know, yeah. he has that yeah. kind of very like, and, um, yeah, and so I'm really happy, and he's a great actor. He's oh, just a great actor. With, without a doubt, if you haven't seen him in Pistols yet, he's amazing in that. I haven't. I saw pictures, and I'm like, wait, is this Louis? It's your this, Peter Pan. Like... <laughs> it's your Peter Pan as you've never seen him before. But Peter Pan and the Lost Girls, it's all about adventure. When you look back at this adventure, how are you going to look back on it? Oh, in terms of um, the, the making of this film. Yeah, the adventure you went the, on to the, make this. <laughs> the making of this film. Yeah, so uh, I think that, um, I think this movie has strangely, you know, it has changed me. It has changed, like I moved from New York to London. Like it happened at a time where a lot of things happen in my life. You know how in life you have like, certain condensed period of times where like a lot of stuff happens and the making of this film let's say the fast the last five years of my life have been very condensed like a lot of things happen and I'm now in a different place I live a different life um and it's all been very informed by the making of the film um so it, it's a special one I think you know I think it's gonna it's gonna continue to be a special film from like the casting the first round of casting the second round of casting which is even better <laughs> and the making of the film like with masks and tests COVID tests that weren't even available back then and you know the the, the COVID scare and luck, luckily nothing happened and we filmed in the house in which I was living <laughs> this is real independent filmmaking and uh, you know the people involved and everything it's just it's just and they reprinted the book and I'm on the cover of the book how's that <laughs> How because this, that is what, this is one of your favorite books so to see yourself on the cover of a book that you used to read that has to be a bit whoa yeah and the and the the writer um spoiled it for me but she said that I'm into dedication now <laughs> oh, I just got chills that must give you chills it does it does and for her she watched the film and she really loves it and it's different from the book and yeah. she, she said you know you capture things that I didn't even know I was were there but but I can see how they were I just said the character you're playing really looks like me when I was younger and it's very strange you know it's very strange it's magical which is perfect for this story and I, I think you know you were talking about COVID and the hardship that we've all had over the last three years but one thing that we have learned is is we all have to have a little bit of Peter Pan within us because it is our magic imagination. It is our adventure, our sense of all that gets us through these really tough times. 
Absolutely, definitely this, it has always been for me. Yeah. <laughs> and the making of the stem, it's always been for me a bit of like, you know, wishful thinking and then willful action. Wishful thinking, willful action. I love that. I actually <laughs> love that. Well, wishful <laughs> thinking, because you're right, you can't just, you can't live on wishful thinking alone. You need to turn it into action. You've got another adventure on the way. You're currently back in Italy. And you're filming Mafia Mama with Tony Collette and Catherine Hardwick. Tell me about this. Yes. How about that? Yes. Um, so I filmed yesterday. It's amazing. I can't really say anything. It's not my movie, so I wish to talk about it. But um, I absolutely uh, love Catherine's work. And Tony, I think, is one of the very best actresses for generation and it was just a dream come true to be able to work with these two women um and Catherine is just I was like constantly checking her out <laughs> <laughs> Sarah was to say, I was like, you know, I really wanted to say she works so hard. She works hard. The girl like runs around all day and she's really focused. And I just, and she's very happy. You can see how happy she, she is to do the work. Yeah. And that's inspiring. Well, look, um, we can't wait to see that and to find out more about Mafia Mama. But before that... Oh, it's going to be funny. It's a comedy wait. and it's really, really funny. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. But in the meantime, the 17th of June, The Lost Girls is out for all of us to enjoy. Can't wait to see what your next adventure brings us, Livia. Thank you so much. Thank